Getting out in nature is an experience worth living. Whether it's outside your backyard or atop mountains, what better way to do it than with a camera? Sony sent me over what is arguably the best mirrorless camera available, the Sony A1 alongside their 200 to 600 millimeter to try out and review for wildlife photography. Not only did this camera blow me away in many ways, but so did this morning out on the hilltops of Pinochi in California. Heading up to Pinochi on these hills is always a magical experience for me. In California, it's hard to find such vast expanses of open space with no signs of humans around, and the sunrises here are always killer. So I set off in search of some wildlife around the hills of Pinochi. So I'm out here today with the Sony A1 that Sony sent over with help from Hunt's photo and video. What I'm most excited for is to use this kind of master, you know, best in its class for the flagship with the Sony in terms of autofocus and other things like the crazy 30 frames per second burst mode that it has, as well as some of the 4K 120p and other features like this. So there's a lot packed into this camera and I'm kind of trying to see just if it, if it lives up to the standard that it makes a name for itself with. So let's test that out today and see what we can get. The morning started off with two horned lark, I found after quite a while of searching. Beyond the ravens flying by in the distance, it was quite a slow start to the morning and there was much fewer wildlife than the previous years. This was my third trip out with the Sony A1, and I've started to get used to it after using it in multiple scenarios. In some ways, it was breathtaking. In a situation like this, I'm able to take a shot of a horn lark from a distance and crop in drastically due to its high 50 megapixel count and the superb glass quality of the 200 to 600 millimeter lens. However, this first encounter also showed the most unfortunate aspect of the Sony A1. This camera and Sony in general has been hyped up a lot for their amazing autofocus. Yet, in a tougher situation like this where the horned lark really blended into the ground, the Sony A1 truly struggled to tack focus when taking photos. Regardless, I would say that the autofocus landed around 50% of the time in these situations, so not horrible. But video was a different story. For some reason, while the Sony A1 contains bird subject detection in photo modes, they didn't include it in the video modes, making the autofocus terribly jumpy and inaccurate when recording video. While trying to take footage of these horned larks, the A1 only kept focus roughly about 30% of the time. All in all, however, these horned larks were undoubtedly a tough subject to land focus on, so it might be a little unfair to judge in such a tough scenario. That being said, I set out further away to try to find a better subject to try my luck on. Along the way, I ran into a loggerhead shrike out in the distance, but it was a brief and distant encounter. I've always wanted to capture one of these guys in a good setting, but the day still hasn't come quite yet. After walking around for a while, I ran across a really cool spectacle of nature going on. The winds had started to pick up dramatically and were hitting 20 to 25 miles an hour. As I hiked up a hill, there was a flock of mountain bluebirds fluttering against the wind, suspended in mid-air as if held up by a string. They were looking for some grub to eat on the ground and were using the wind to hover in place with very little effort. This was the perfect chance I would get to test out some more of the Sony A1's autofocusing abilities with these birds in flight. I crept up a little closer and worked on getting some good shots of them at different perches, as well as in flight. Mountain bluebirds have this beautiful, bright, almost shiny-like blue color to them. Their wingspan is the largest of any bluebird species and put to good use in this situation. It was angelic to get to watch them flutter all around the hilltops with the scenic vistas all around me. I constantly got to catch them dive to catch a bug and then pop back up into the air or onto a bush to scout out their next meal. In some situations, I was quite amazed by the Sony A1's ability to keep focus on the bluebirds flying about. 
In this sequence here, the Sony A1 locked on and followed the bird perfectly as it jetted towards me through the air. Not only did it keep this focus, but it also shows off the incredible 30 frames per second that this A1 can shoot in mechanical shutter. Without this amazing sequence of autofocus and the crazy burst rate, there is no way I could have landed a shot like this otherwise. In other situations though, especially when foreground was involved, the Sony A1 had difficulty once again recognizing the bird, and it would take quite a while for me to correct these problems. In other aspects, like its 120 frames per second in 4K, it was amazing to get to use it. Getting to see these birds in flight at these frame rates was incredible, and I loved to get to see what I could capture with it. The loggerhead shrike popped up out of nowhere and returned briefly again, but then was off once again into the distance. After a while of taking my chances at different angles and action shots, I did wind up landing some good images of a male bluebird in flight with decent lighting and a portrait shot here, but it still wasn't quite what I was hoping for. With the bluebirds flying all around me, I wanted to capture a male with its beautiful wingspan shown off as it launched from the perch. I moved around and eventually I found a great angle with good lighting and a bright blue sky to complement the color of the mountain bluebird. As he sat there, I waited for the exact moment he launched off and captured this freeze frame here as an action scenic shot of the bird. What incredible moments these were to get to experience on the hilltops of Pinochi with these mountain bluebirds showing off their insect hunting capabilities. I hope your next adventure out in nature is just as breathtaking. If you're interested in seeing my in-detail review with the Sony A1 for wildlife photography, check out this video here in the end screen. Thanks for following along in my adventure, and I'll see you next time out in nature.